a lot of guys love vintage drums and things like that. I mean, and, and I know that you, you keep a GMS kit here in Europe for, for, for use when you come out, which has to save a lot of grief because otherwise, it, you know, kit de jour is going to be whatever the hire company have dis, you know, decided to bring you. Yeah, it can be a pretty frustrating experience uh, right. relying on, on rental gear. Um, I have the GMS kit here, uh, 1626, 913, 1416. Um, and then a variety of snare drums. Uh, and I have um, a set of cymbals that I keep over here as well. Right. And most importantly, hardware. You yeah. know, uh, I learned early on that, that rental hardware is, is uh, as much of a headache as rental drums are. Yeah, yeah. Or if not more so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So it's great. It's a great feeling to have that kit here. And, and it's, it's nice because I've played so many shows on it back home. Um, I feel like I have a very personal relationship with that drum. Right, right. This is the drum kit that I play when I'm in the UK and in Europe. It, uh, it stays in Manchester, actually. Uh, for cymbals, I've got Byzance uh, series Minos. And uh, these are 15 inch uh, extra, dry, extra dry hats. Uh, 21 inch medium ride. 23 inch uh, medium ride. And a 22 inch extra dry ride. Um, I keep two ride cymbals over here. Uh, it's kind of fun to play between the two of them. They sound very different from one another. And I still crash and ride on all the cymbals. Um, so you got a lot of sounds here with just having a few cymbals. And the drums are uh, GMS drums. This is a 16 by 26 inch kick drum, a uh, 9 by 13 inch rack tom, and a 14 by 16 inch floor tom. Uh, I've played quite a few shows on these drums. I had these uh, since 1993. and. Um, it's a lot of fun coming over here and playing these drums. Even if uh, they've been sitting in the in storage for eight or ten months, they always sound great. And this is the newest addition to the kit. This is a stave snare drum that uh, I built with my friend Chase Lap of Laps Traps. And um, this is a maple drum, eight lugs, and we put old uh, stick saver style hoops on it, like an old Slingerland drum. And uh, it's pretty exciting. It's, a, it's the first stave drum that uh, he and I have tried to build. And I think we were pretty successful with it. So it's, uh, it's been a lot of fun playing these drums. Greetings, people, and welcome to issue 21 of iDrum Magazine. And inside you'll find an in-depth interview with none other than Mr. Simon Phillips. Yes, we finally managed to track him down, and he's been telling us all about everything that he's been up to recently. And boy, let me tell you, that is quite a lot indeed. We also managed to catch up with Clutch's wonderful, gruesome player, Mr. Jean-Paul Gastler. Delightful man, uh, just wants to talk drums all day, all night, and uh, frankly, we'd be happy to still be sitting there with him now. But uh, unfortunately, tour dates and all the rest of it meant that we could only spend about half an hour with him. That's the reality of things. We also get with uh, Studio A Session Master and great, great player, from the UK, Mr. Jeremy Stacey, um, for a, uh, an in-depth and somewhat thought-provoking um, discussion on uh, the state of play in the industry as it is at the moment. In our review section, we take a look at Drumcraft's Series 5 drum set, and uh, Jamie Borden in our Vegas studio, he gets his hands on a DW Eco X kit, and I think in a banana finish, no less. Blimey, hope he didn't slip up on that. We also check out some limited edition premier snares. Uh, we look at a raft, if you like, of pearl hardware and accessories. And uh, we also get to look at some very inspiring headhunters, rods and brushes. Uh, we also take a peek at some rhythm tech percussion accessories and uh, little items that will uh, liven up your kit and make you generally a more versatile player. Plus, of course, we've got our little accessories reviews 
and uh, of course, as with every issue, we have full tech sessions and a complete and utter and truly meaningful roundup of all the latest CDs, DVDs and books. That's it. Enjoy issue 21 of iDrum Magazine, my friends. That's it. Enjoy.